Welcome to Hemsley Gussie TV. Now, guys, I know this is a Chelsea channel, but this is a Derby versus Manchester United review. How could I not? I mean, I am at the University of Derby. I have been in Derby tonight to watch the game. So how could I not come on my channel and talk about it? What a match. Um, I'm sure that many of you Chelsea fans have watched it, especially with like Frank Lampard being the manager and everything and it being like Frank Lampard versus Mourinho. Um, what a crazy game to talk about, guys, as well. Um, I'll quickly run you guys through the game. Um, I actually didn't get into the pub um, to kick off. Um, I missed a few minutes of the game. And obviously in the third minute, one Matt scored. And I missed that goal. Um, but unreal. Like, I thought, hmm. The minute Matt scored, I thought, Manchester, this is going to be Manchester United tonight, you know. Um, Manchester United are a Premier League side. Derby are a championship. But can I just say that hierarchy um, of Premier League side and championship side has kind of been pushed to the side tonight and it shows that nothing is impossible and it doesn't matter what league you're in passion drives you there um it's the lad show tonight and then um obviously wilson then scored amazing then marriott um and then fellaini now guys obviously what really changed the game for manchester united despite the bad performance they did actually put out um, in my opinion not being biased because I'm not even a Derby fan so how can it be biased but I do feel like the red card made the difference for them um, if they didn't get that red card I think the game could have gone a lot differently for them obviously um, Manchester United were very lucky and Derby fans were gutted in the pub tonight when um, obviously they scored in added time it was very unlucky for um, the, the Derby the Derby team because um, it was a very late goal from Manchester United and they seemed over the moon with it. But passion drove Derby there in the end because obviously on the penalty shootout, Derby um, actually won, which is mental. Like, oh my days. Um, championship side beat Premier League side. Um, yeah, this will be a knock for Mourinho. Um, he's obviously not doing great at the moment. I think his job is in jeopardy anyway. He's being questioned. And when things like this are happening against the championship side, it's not promising for them. Um, but yeah, I bet Frank Lampard is over the moon. Like He was buzzing with the fans and the players after the game. Well in for him and Jodie Morris. I'm well buzzing for them, of course. Being a Chelsea fan, let's be real, Derby has got a place in all of our hearts now because Frank Lampard's the manager there. How can you not like them? Um, I'm saying this, but what about if we beat Liverpool in the cup and then um, we actually take Derby on in the cup? That it would be all different then, but you know, they do have a place in our hearts, especially mine now that I'm at University of Derby and that's my local team. Um, so yeah, of course, I do have a place in my heart. Um, and obviously, Georgie Morris is there and Mason Mount, and I do love Mason Mount, who couldn't? <laughs> Um, he's well nice. Um, but yeah, but guys, that's my review. It's short and sweet, but I'm, I'm really made up for Derby, you know. They deserved it thoroughly. Um, they came out, they had a really good performance. And as I said, it kind of puts that hierarchy of championship football in comparison to Premier League football aside. It's, it's not relevant at, at this stage. And the thing is that a lot of people um, call this the Mickey Mouse Cup. Um, a lot of people don't like um, the Cup very much. But I've said it from day dot on my channel, and you guys know I do. I always say I love the Cup, and this is why I love the Cup. I love it. I absolutely love championship sides playing Premier League sides and seeing things like this. Anything can happen, and it's proved that. Um, but yeah, tomorrow night is now our turn, um, which is a bit worrying. I'm very nervous about that. But we'll see how we go shall we um obviously against Liverpool um so yeah wasn't about Derby but let's just see if we'll Charles can actually do it oh god um but yeah but guys like when I was actually in the pub tonight I actually got a bit of footage of um the scenes and the fans celebrating I obviously wasn't in on that because I'm not a Derby fan but it put a smile on my face you know today um, well, today's not been a great day for me, unfortunately, um, due to personal reasons. Um, so, football's the new love of my life again, you know, <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. It always was, but more than ever now. Um, and football always makes me smile when I'm down. I'm getting a bit teary now, but it does. It always picks me up um, when I'm down, and that's why I love it so much. That's why I'm on a football journalism course. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, I'm getting... 
getting a bit off track now. I will insert the video of the fans celebrating because you guys might want to see it. I've already put on my Insta, but I'll put it on here as well. And see, so, yeah, a good result um, for Jodie Morris and Frank Lampard tonight. I'm sure all the Derby fans are thrilled, as I've seen, and um, the Derby players will be. And yeah, let's see how they get on with the rest of the competition. And now on to Chelsea tomorrow night. Um, but yeah, well in Derby. Thanks. <laughs>